Pauses for Advent, week three, day three. Remember, our scripture reading, 2 Timothy 2 through 10. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, for which I am suffering even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore I endure for everything for the sake of the elect, that they too may obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Again the scripture, 2 Timothy 2, verses 8 and 9. Remember Christ Jesus, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. That is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship even to the point of being chained like a criminal. Our faith is rooted in remembrance. Scholars of the early church history remind us that within the early Christian communities, the first obligations of disciples were teaching and helping new Christ followers to develop a Christian memory. Such a memory found its primary focus in Jesus leading Peter to encourage those to whom he wrote with the following words, Remember Jesus Christ. During Advent, we remember the mystery of the first Christmas. Something happened that day that had never happened before. God slips into human history in the same way that we entered the world, through a woman's womb as a crying infant who needs to be held and fed vulnerable and dependent, like all of humanity. God becomes like you and me so that we may know the way and the truth and the life. Today, and each day of Advent, we remember this. But we don't only remember Jesus as a baby. We also remember him in his deeds and his words, in his death and his resurrection. Christmas points us to Good Friday and to Easter Sunday. The one who we remember today lives beyond death as our risen Lord and Savior residing within and among us. He is alive, present throughout the universe, and available and accessible to each one of us. Today we remember this. The Messiah has been raised from the dead. Developing a Christian memory is not about living in the past. We remember that so that we may live with hearts open open to the Christ who is alive and present with us today and every day. Daily Practice Take some time today to remember the moment when Christ became more than a word for you. Give thanks to God for the memory and allow it to lead you into fresh openness toward Christ today. Let's pray. Father God, Thank you for coming into our lives. And Jesus, if anyone is watching this video that has not yet welcomed Jesus into their heart, I pray that they would open their hearts and acknowledge you as their Lord and Savior and establish this as the initial memory of you coming to dwell within them. God, each of us has a unique and special salvation story. So help us today to remember how we came into this great opportunity to grow close to you through every breath that we take. Thank you, Lord, for all that you are and all that you lovingly provide us. And I pray all of these things in your great and magnificent name. Amen and amen.